Hi guys, welcome to Monday on Craftorials Collab. I am Anne, otherwise known as Hannah B. A1I, and the theme for this week is back to school. I know I start school on Mon not Monday, this Wednesday, so it's kind of getting on my nerves that tomorrow is a school night. Oh my god. It's so I'm kind of scared for school because it's junior year and I don't know any of these teachers. I haven't heard anything about them, so I'm kind of getting iffy about it. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I was thinking a lot about what to do as a tutorial and I couldn't think of anything besides clay. Now, personally, I'm not that good at clay, so I tried and tried to think of something else. I was walking past my deco den, I'm like, hmm, and then I just walked past it. I couldn't think of anything. And then finally it came to me, a deco den binder. A what? A deco den binder. A what? I couldn't hear you. A deco den binder. So yeah, um, basically I have this binder that I redid the silicone of. One sec, let me zoom out. Right, and you will see it's kind of peasy because first of all, it takes tons of silicone um, to cover this much. It took me a bottle and a half of the tube kind to cover that much up of the binder. And second of all, um, my tip, it kept on squirting out air bubbles even though I tried in the icing bag. Um, also, oh, um, I don't think it'll matter for people, they'll just be like, oh, it's pretty at school, especially at my high school, I don't know, they don't care. <laughs> but then what I did, since I couldn't cover it all the way, I kind of, um, uh, Love June, or I-O-V-E June, um, told us how to kind of do a background for your binder, so I did that here. Uh, so it's really cute, I think. And, and it kind of just shows my personality a lot. Now I'm going to be using homemade, not homemade cabochon, all story bought because I want this to be the perfect binder. You will see it's like a pink and brown theme. And then I'm going to be using fruit canes that are already sliced up. And also micro marbles. These are just the ones I have here that fit to my color. Um, range. I'm going to be using puffy paint and these are the tulip ones strawberry chocolate and vanilla is what I call them and my dog is barking but I'm going to ignore him because I've filmed this video so many times um, tulip is just one brand of puffy you can also use scribbles then if you want to spunk out your binder even more you can dye your um, uh, silicone to create like any colors. I just showed artificial or acrylic paint because that's what you use to do that. Um, doesn't matter what color you want to do. And you also might want a cookie right by you because you might get hungry when you do um, this creative stuff. And then also you need memo paper if you want to do that. And stickers if you just want to decorate the outside of your binder. So let's get right to it. Um, you can also use molds if you're making clay biscuits or whatever. But here we go. What I have here are these little cute Scrabble letters that I made. And they say Anne. Because I think that it, like is really cute and stuff. And like so unique. So I'm going to just... Put them on. Here. So it's kind of like, whoa, Scrabble letters. There's there. Because I already tried coloring it brown inside. It did not turn out well, so I had to remake a lot of them. Um, I have this huge bow. And I'm trying to think of which bow to use. But I think I'm going to use... use um, this uh, pink bow up here. And, oh, crud, you can't even see it. There we go. Uh, and, yeah, so you're just going to watch me decorate it. And this is just an idea, uh, like, that you guys can do. It's not really, like, as much as a tutorial. Like, you know, you'll be doing thing like this, and you'll be doing that. It's just kind of like, whoa, like... You know, I don't know how to explain it. 
How to explain it? How do I explain it? I think this is a really cute cabotron. It's so cute. I like, and I don't even know where to get it. I got it in um the trade thanks to um Raven Bree 22. So go check her out. She has great cabotrons, and she gives me a ton every time we trade. Okay, Kind of like I'm just decorating it with all these desserts that I might like because I feel like that expresses my personality a lot. I really like this bunny, so I'm gonna put that on there and and this cupcake. So cute. Once again from Marie Wimbrey 22. So as you can see, my theme is pink because I just had a lot of stuff from it. So I'm like, why not do pink, you know? So, um, it's not going to make a difference. And then I have these little cute bubbles because that I thought were cute because bubbles are cute. And so there it is. It says Anne and it's really adorable, I think. I think. And then what you can do is put some micro marbles on there There it is. There's gold, silver, and micro marbles. And um, if you don't think uh, you've done enough, you can just put more stuff on to your liking. And you can even put like the uh, cane slices on. But I really like this the way it is. It kind of just looks like a dessert kind of feel. And then what I'm going to do is put some stickers on. And also, if you have Scrabble letters and you don't want to waste them and ruin the game, just make a mold out of it. That's what I did. That's my A little thing. Or you can use banana gram things, but it, um, I really like puffy stickers, so that's what I'm going to put on the outside, kind of like as a cute, like a decoration. Just kind of all over like the place, just kind of sprunk it up and stuff. I don't know. For some reason, I haven't decorated my binder like this, and now I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous good idea. So, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'm so happy to be part of this collab, and this is just kind of a back-to-school idea slash tutorial on how to decorate your binder. So, I hope you like it, and peace out, you guys. Bye!